Today I am reviewing the Joy Tutis 42 quart fridge freezer. I started this fridge up at about 7.30 in the morning. It is now 8.45. I started at 73 degrees and it is now down to 5 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I have it connected to my Blue Eddy EB120 and it is currently pulling no charge. While it was dropping down and getting to the temperature that I set it at, which was 5 degrees Fahrenheit from 73, it was pulling about 58 watts of power while the compressor was running. Currently, it is pulling no power, and I have my Blue Eddy is not showing much use at all, and so far as uh, how much power it's used on the Blue Eddy. So, but it does pull 58 watts, so we we know this. Anyway, I'll show you the inside of this. This is the handle. It's kind of interesting, and I'm not sure. I haven't quite decided if I like it or not but it tips in kind of hard on my hands because of my I'm arthritic but I'll learn to work with it inside one feature I really like is a little light that illuminates the inside of the um, the fridge freezer this is the refrigerator portion I believe it was about seven quarts is what the the uh, spec said on it um, I had dropped, this is just a little house thermometer that I have in here, and I had put it in there. It's saying 14.5, but I'm not going to, it's not a refrigerator thermometer, so I'm not sure how to accept that as truly what temperature is inside of here. Perhaps it is. Anyway, this is the freezer section, and... Um, it comes with a basket that sits inside of it. It also has a divider, and you can pull that out if you don't want to use it and store it inside there, right like that. Put your food in here. You're in good shape. The interesting thing about this fridge freezer is that it came with handles that had to be attached. And um, again, I'm arthritic, so I can't really show you too much as far as that. But um, and they they snap back, so you really have to watch your fingers on those suckers. Um, and uh, there's an indicator there; it tells you where's your refrigerator section, where's your freezer. Now I have heard, and I don't know this to be fact, but I have heard that um, you can take put your frozen stuff at the bottom place a car a piece of thick cardboard on top of that and use the top two three inches of the freezer for keeping refrigerator items called to to help expand the rather small area over here for me this size works perfect because i have more frozen stuff i travel with my dogs homemade um, dog food that I get make for him and I I uh, I like to carry at least a month's worth at a time so this is super handy for that and as far as fridge space um a little bit of produce and you know a wee bit of a little bit of dairy is about all I really need there and what I do like about this is I can actually probably put a, a small bag of ice easily in the bottom of this and uh, have ice for drinks. So I kind of look forward to that. This is the side of it. It's actually a beautiful, beautiful item. I'm rather surprised how nice and sleek it looks. It's very modern. And... I, I, I think I'm going to enjoy it. We'll find out when I get out on the road this next week. Anyway, thank you for watching and uh, talk to you soon.